Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. Sorry, I sit in my infrared sauna and sweat bullets <laughs> and detox and like get such clarity. It's amazing because the infrared heat is not like regular heat, so you don't feel hot. You sweat like you're raining, but you don't feel like I feel warm, but I don't feel like I'm in a regular sauna where I'm going <sighs> and I meditate in here and I try to really have a perspective about what's going on and how to deal. And today I found myself getting really down and this is where I also do a vlog and I talk about what comes through because today <sighs> I got really down, man. And I spent a lot of time practicing, um, being in the moment and being in gratitude and just really giving thanks for all of my blessings while I'm in quarantine and meditating a lot and trying to get perspective and I know that everything's going to be fine but today man I got the heaviest of hearts right and today's Easter Sunday and so I had a lot of memories come up and a lot of emotions come up about the past and people and relationships and, you know, a lot of stuff, right? And I felt it because that's what I do. I look at where I feel something in my body, right? And I felt it in my heart chakra. And I felt heavy and breathing and everything like that. Now, of course, people be like, oh, God, you know, and they get all panicked about what's going on. But that's part and parcel. You see, because we have to, to now, and they're part of the reason that we're in quarantine and my freaking legs are so sweaty that I'm having trouble holding this damn thing. Um, it's time to really clear out any old baggage that's like making us feel heavy, right? And you can do that, and there are a number of ways, but um, a really great way to stay positive and to stay uplifted and to not allow those heavy feelings get you and drag you down is to use sound frequencies and that's what I want to talk about today. So sound frequencies, I play them all over my house and I haven't done it in a couple of days and I think, wow man, it really makes a difference. And the ones that I use primarily now are the Solfagio frequencies and they basically start at the lower frequencies at the root chakra and go all the way up to the crown chakra and the cool thing is if you have issues in any of those chakras um feelings of insecurity or un, you know fear of the unknown or any of those things all the way up to like physical illnesses you can go in and on youtube and google Sound frequencies are one of the great things I like to Google is DNA activation frequencies and all the solfeggio frequencies come up. And you can even say if you had chest con congestion or something like that, you could Google D uh, sound frequency for chest congestion and you would have a beautiful, long, very calming, very soothing frequency to listen to that really works because it works on your energetic bodies and your energetic bodies will work on your physical body. And so today I turned that back on and I'll put all the lists because they go basically up the chakras as the frequencies increase and the 528 is the heart chakra. And so I felt such heaviness in my heart that I turned on the heart chakra frequency, which also happens to be the DNA, DNA healing and activation frequency and also the physical healing activation frequency, which is amazing because you really have all of that ability in yourself, self-healing, and all of these amazing things. You just have to get out of this. Um, it's as if we drag around heartache and trauma until we heal it. <laughs> and so once we heal it, then we can lift up out of it because the feeling that I had today was heaviness. And I know that I was mourning, you know, a lot of stuff that I never actually totally processed and healed from. And it was coming up, you know, even silly past relationships are like, what the hell? Who cares? But that energy is somehow still there. <sighs> These things that we still have to heal. This is the opportunity to do it while you're in quarantine, while you have time off work, while you're laying around the house. Go in deep and try to heal 
these things that keep us down because we need to be able to ascend. And if you're feeling heavy in any of those chakras, specifically the heart, I mean, the ones that I always feel, the heart, that's where all of my heartache and is maybe the root a little because sometimes I feel like, oh God, do I have enough money or whatever. But these sound frequencies <laughs> are miraculous at helping release a lot of that unwanted, unwanted trauma and baggage that we carry around and it helps heal it and let, let you release it. And it's really amazingly uplifting in your vibration. And so the trick is, like I said, to stay positive. And if you feel depressed or heavy or sad, like today I felt so sad, these frequencies can help lift you out of that, out of that dark river of fear and uncertainty and anxiety and mourning what was and blah, blah, blah. Because we can so easily get caught up in that stuff, you see. And it's really important to have tools to lift yourself out. And these sound frequencies, and I'm going to put a list of them in the text below. And um, I'm going to also talk about some other sound frequencies, which are even more like going deeper, deeper, deeper. These ones are for helping you heal the, the things that still need healing in your chakras, in your physical and energetic bodies. These other frequencies I'm going to bring in in another vlog are about really connecting with the interdimensional spaces. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to help heal what is dragging us down and what will help us stay down in the muck because we need to heal that, release it, so we can rise up into the higher dimensions and be a fully 5D beings as we get all of this beautiful 5D light in that's counteracting all of this other garbage, <laughs> literally, that we're having to integrate into our energetic and physical bodies as well. See, these, this 5D energy helps on all levels, all right? So please be sure to read the text because that's going to give you a lot more information about where to go for this stuff, okay? So I hope that helps. All these tools really, really, really will help. And it's what we're supposed to be doing while we're in quarantine. It's part of our job, okay? So please, please, please subscribe. And I'll keep giving you more information as it comes in. And we'll get through this. And not only get through it, but we will rise. All right, so.